Okay, have you ever heard of Neville Goddard's teachings on the law of allowance? Hopefully you have. If you haven't, you can take a moment and look that up. Or as soon as you get done watching this video, you can look it up. There's plenty of videos on all platforms, I'm sure. But for sure, YouTube on that. But I'm going to give you my take on the law of allowance and how important it is in your manifestation journey and learning how to be a master manifester. My name is Dr. Lisa Brewer and I am a doctor of metaphysics and divinity. So I cannot write you a prescription, but I can recommend a really good crystal. And we are going to talk about the law of allowance and how I've used it in my life to assist me in manifesting my best life and to continue to do so. So we're entering into this time period now in this process where we're understanding that it's super, super, super important for us. I'm sorry, something just walked past my window like a small animal. Ah, my windows are open. I'm on the ground floor. Okay, anyway. Um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, so... <laughs> Um, so we're in this time period right now, right? Where we're looking to create a lifestyle, a pattern, um, of being always in manifestation and creation mode. Okay. We're not in the pattern of destruction and self-destruction, but we're there and we're in the pattern of creation. And sometimes that does mean we have to destroy and tear down what we've got already, or there's some things that have to move out of the way in order for something new to be constructed. And this is where I like to apply this allowance, this law of allowance. And to me, to sum up the law of allowance, it is this, is I look at the situation, whatever's going on, like I might be getting resistance in certain areas of my life and I'm trying to figure out, oh God, right? How in the world do I allow for this to happen. Okay. How do I make the allowance for this to occur? In other words, I might look at it in a negative way. It might feel like it's kind of scary and it's kind of opposite of what I'm looking to manifest. Or I've taken like five steps forward and now I'm in this like two or three steps backwards and it's not looking like I ex had expected for it to. The law of allowance to me says this. I look at what could potentially be the worst case scenario should this come to fruition. Right? So if I allow it to happen. So I guess you could say like, for instance, there was a time period where I wasn't really getting a lot of clients in my business. And it was like, oh my gosh. But I knew I needed to put invest a little money into some advertising and things like that. But I just wasn't sure if I really wanted to. And so I looked at that and I said, okay, well, what's the worst thing that could happen if I put this money towards it? Well, maybe I won't get as many prospects as possible. Um, what's the worst thing that could happen? Like there was a moment in time, a couple moments where I was like, I think I'm about to go get a job. Okay, so what's the worst thing that could happen if I go get a job and then I work this on the side? And I realized that. And I said, okay. Am I able to handle that? If it's the worst possible thing, am I able to deal with that? And if the answer was no, then I would see, see why not. Like explore why you're feeling so like, ah, in regard to this situation. Really figure that out because that's critical. Usually when we're in this like allowance and just kind of in the flow, whether we feel like it's good or feel like it's not, when we allow things to occur as they're meant to occur, we typically find that, that they are meant to occur and that there's a better result on the other side, okay? So, again, for instance, if you can sit with this thing and then say, well, what's the absolute thing, worst thing? Okay, so if I get a job, the absolute worst thing is that I would not be able to, to put as much time towards my business as I have been 
previously. Can I handle that? Well, yeah. I guess, you know, I can. Or no. Or why am I feeling like this? Like, why do I even feel like I need to get the job? Right? Where is it inside of me that's still attracting this, like, the spirit of lack or the spirit of doubt or the spirit of fear? Like, you just kind of explore it and keep exploring it and keep exploring it. And if it really, like, it's like, I can't deal with this. Okay, okay, cool. Then let's, what's an alternative? Right? Because we don't want to get into resistance because resistance then pushes things away. But we also don't want to get into doubt because doubt pushes things away as well. Because then we're doubting that what we wish that already exists, that's already out there, can actually come to us. So just kind of allowing the feelings to come. Allow the emotions to happen. Allow all of this. Allow the thoughts. Stop pushing it away. Because the more you resist it, the more it's going to come. The more you push it away, the more it's going to come. Let it come. For God's sake, let it come. Because until you can let it come and you face it, and then you begin to dissect it and begin to do some shadow work and begin to analyze it, why am I feeling this way? Why is this emotion popping up? Why do these things keep on happening? Until you do that, you can't figure out why. And until you can figure out why, you can't figure out the what has caused you to feel like this. And until you can figure that out, you can't figure out why you're having this same cyclical issue over and over and over again. So you're never going to get out of the cycle. You can't begin to manifest up here and continue to vibrate up here if you're always going through this, like, I'm going to get there and then I'm going back down. I'm going to get there and I'm going back down, up and down. Right? You just can't do it. Right? So let's allow, now that's a very, that's my interpretation of the law of allowance. I want to hear yours. If you've looked into it already, what's your interpretation of the law of allowance? How have you utilized that in your own life? How do you think you can further utilize it in this regard, from this perspective? I'm going to allow this to happen just so I can analyze this. And if you've never heard it before, can you tell me, I've never heard that before, but I'm going to go look it up a little bit and then let's have a conversation about it. Because when we can begin to do this allowance, again, this brings us into this neutrality. I'm trying to get us to this space of neutrality. It's so much easier to manifest when you're manifesting from a space of neutrality than it is from a space of fear. All right. Okay. Now, um, don't forget, give me a like, a follow, a share, a subscribe, wherever you're at, whatever platform this is on. Leave me some comments so that we can click that, get that algorithm going so more people can see this. I really value you and I value your time. And I thank you so much for going on this journey with me. Peace, love, blessings, and joy. Be unto you today, tomorrow, and for all eternity. And never forget, give permission to your purpose to provide for your person. See you soon.